the meeting and the Pledge of Allegiance, so I'd invite everyone to stand. The invocation and the pledge will both be uh, led by members of Troop 954. So we'd invite uh, First Scoutmaster Scott Jackson to come forward to offer the invocation. Uh, following that, uh, Cooper Arnett, a scout, will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Our Father who art in heaven, as we convene here at the City Council meeting, we give thee thanks for our many blessings. We're grateful to be members of this great city of Mesa. We ask a blessing upon our leaders, our elected leaders, that they can be continually guided and directed to benefit us as citizens. We're grateful for this great state of Arizona and country of America. Bless us all to be mindful of our actions and to be involved and be good examples. We thank thee for all that we have, and we do so in the name of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Well, thank you, Scoutmaster Jackson, and thank you, Cooper, for helping us get a good start on this meeting. Uh, the first item on our agenda for today is the, to consider the consent agenda, so we'd invite Kevin Christopher to come forward to read the consent agenda. Mayor and Council members, these are the items on the consent agenda. All items listed with an asterisk will be considered as a group by the City Council and will be enacted with one motion. There will be no separate discussion unless a Council member or a citizen request, in which event the item will be removed from the consent agenda and considered as a separate item. If a citizen wants an item removed, a blue card must be completed and given to the City Clerk prior to the Council's vote on the consent agenda. Item 2, approval of minutes of previous meetings as written. Item 3A, act on liquor license application for chances for children of Arizona. One day charitable event, October 1st. 901 to 979 North Riverview. Item 3B, act on liquor license application for Downtown Mesa Association. Two-day charitable event, November 14th and 15th on Pepper Place between Center Street and Robeson and on McDonald between 1st Street and 1st Avenue. Items 3C through 3E, act on liquor license applications for Ultimate Imaginations. One-day charitable events, January 1st, February 8th and March 4th on Main Street between Center Street and Robeson and on McDonald between Main Street and Pepper Place. Item 3F, act on liquor license application for the Grid, Games and Growlers, 525 South Gilbert Road. Item 3G, act on liquor license application for L Super, 1245 East Southern Avenue. Item 3H, act on liquor license application for B to Market, 1706 North Country Club Drive. Item 3I, act on liquor license application for Flips, Burgers and Brews, 805 North Dobson Road. Item 3J, act on liquor license application for Pita Island, 1042 North Higley Road. Item 3K, act on liquor license application for Rudy's Mexican Grill, 8257 East Guadalupe Road. Item 4A, act on three-year term contract for raking and overhire stage hand services for the Mesa Art Center. Item 4B, act on term contract for electrical products for various city departments as requested by the Business Services Department. Item 4C has been continued to the September 28th Council meeting. Item 4D, act on three-year term contract for audio-visual services for the Mesa Convention Center as requested by the Parks, Recreation, and Commercial Facilities Department. Item 4E, act on three-year term contract for landscape maintenance services for parkway medians and right-of-way, Section 2 for the Transportation Department. Item 4F, act on term contract for heavy-duty truck parts and repair services for the Fleet Services Department. Item 4G, act on three-year term contract for original equipment manufacturer, heavy-duty truck repair services for Peterbilt Trucks. Item 4H, act on three-year term contract for waste pumping and hydro jetting services for the facility's maintenance department. Item 4I, act on contract to purchase one replacement all-wheel drive backhoe for the Energy Resources Department. This purchase is funded by the Utility Replacement Extension and Renewal Fund. Item 4J, act on two-year term contract for water, wastewater laboratory services for the Water Resources Department. Item 4K, act on three-year term contract for Hersey brand water meter maintenance for the Water Resources Department. 
Item 4L, Act and Contract for the Guerrero Rotary Park Playground Rehabilitation Project. This project is funded by a Community Development Block Grant and the Capital General Fund. Item 5A, Act on Resolution Approving and Authorizing the City Manager to enter into an award agreement with the State of Arizona, Office of the Attorney General for the Fiscal Year 2016 Victims Rights Program to accept funding for salaries of two victim notification clerks at the Police Department's Mesa Family Advocacy Center. Item 5B, Act on Resolution Approving and Authorizing the City Manager to enter into an agreement with the U.S. Department of Justice, Drug Enforcement Administration for reimbursement of overtime for officers assigned to the task forces. Item 5C, Act on Resolution Approving and Authorizing the City Manager to enter into task force agreements with the Organized Crime Drug Enforcement Task Forces during federal fiscal year October 1st, 2015 to September 30th, 2016 for overtime for Mesa Police Department personnel. Item 5D, Act on Resolution Approving and Authorizing Submittal of a Transportation Enhancement Grant Application with ADOT for construction of the South Canal McDowell to Loop 202 Val Vista Drive Shared Use Pathway and authorizing the City Manager to execute such documents as may be necessary to accept the grant if awarded. Item 5E, Act on Resolution Approving and Authorizing Submittal of a Transportation Enhancement Grant Application with ADOT for construction of the Mesa Gateway Phase 3 Shared Use Pathway along the Loop 202 Santan Freeway Corridor from Power to Haas Road and authorizing the City Manager to execute such documents as may be necessary to accept the grant if awarded. Item 5F, Act on Resolution Approving and Authorizing Submittal of a Transportation Enhancement Grant Application with ADOT for construction of the Mesa Gateway Phase 2 Shared Use Pathway along the Loop 202 Santan Freeway Corridor from Elliott to Hawes Road and authorizing the City Manager to execute such documents as may be necessary to accept the grant if awarded. Item 5G, Act on Resolution Approving and Authorizing the Submittal of a Grant Application with ADOT for the purchase of a PM10 Certified Street Sweeper for fiscal year 2016 and authorizing the City Manager to execute such documents as may be necessary to accept the grant if awarded. Item 5A, check on resolution approving and authorizing submittal of a grant application with ADOT for the upgrade of traffic signal cabinets and controllers and authorizing the city manager to execute such documents as may be necessary to accept the grant if awarded. Item 6A, introduction of ordinance regarding Z15-025, the 1600 through 1900 blocks of South Val Vista Drive, located north of Baseline Road on the west side of Val Vista Drive. This is for a site plan modification, rezone, and council use permit to allow addition of residential, retail, office, hotel, and theater buildings to the existing commercial center as part of a mixed-use development. Item 6B, introduction of ordinance to amend the Mesa Zoning Ordinance, Title 11, Chapter 7, Section 2, regarding permitted land uses to allow banquet and conference centers in industrial and employment districts. And item 7A, Act on Subdivision Plat Eastmark Parkway, the 5600 to 5700 block of South Eastmark Parkway on both sides, located north and west to the northwest corner of South Signal Butte and East Williams Field Roads. Mayor and Council Members, these are the items on the consent agenda. Thank you, Mr. Christopher. Uh, Vice Mayor Kavanaugh has made a motion for approval of the consent agenda. It's been seconded by Council Member Luna. I should have noted at the outset of the meeting that Council Member Glover is excused as he is uh, traveling on city business tonight. So, Council Members, please cast your vote. And it, uh, the vote is uh, unanimous in favor of uh, passing the consent agenda. The next item on our agenda is items from citizens present. Ms. Mickelson, do we have any requests to speak? No requests, Mayor. Okay. Thank you. Move to adjourn. Thank you. Then uh, we have a motion to adjourn. Is there a second? All in favor, please say aye. 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 We are adjourned. Yeah.